Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today it is a magic video. It is a magic tutorial video. I haven't done one of these ever on the channel. I've done a few magic kit reviews, but I've never done showing you how to do tricks. Well, I have, but that was like two years ago. So I'll be teaching you some new ones. And since it's magic, we have to get ready for magic. So watch this. Whoa, I got my magic hat on, guys. So here we go. I'm teaching you two how to do two magic tricks. So what you're going to need for this video is a deck of cards. Any cards work. Uh, probably not a trick deck, so your audience doesn't think you're using one. And then any type of two of the same kind of coin or something that can fit in your hand. So let's get started. So I'm going to be showing you the trick and then I'll teach you how to do it. So, this is the deck of cards here. You only need the cards. As you can see, you can have your audience shuffle them, but these are already shuffled, so you guys can see. So, you say, tell, you ask your audience to tell you stop whenever you want. If they say stop right here, this is the card that you stop, tell them on. So, here it is. I, I, I'm allowed to see because I'm showing you how to do the trick, guys. But let's just pretend that I didn't see. So, stop right here. This is the card. And so the audience looks at that and they can put it right back on top. And now all I need to do, all you need to do is find it. So you search through the deck and you'll be like, see if I can find your card. Was this it, guys? Hopefully that that was it. I didn't look, but I'll teach you how to do that trick right now. So you're gonna need a deck of cards, like I said. This is like an easy, easy beginner trick. These are not any like professional professional tricks or anything or any hard tricks. So just in case you want to get into magic and start. So yeah, here you tell them like I showed you. You riffle through the deck and tell them to say stop. They can stop anywhere. It's a free choice. This is stop right here. This is their card, and you don't even have to look at it. So I'm gonna look at it for this. It's the two of hearts. Two of hearts, guys. And so they put it back on where they got it. And while they're looking at that, you look at this card secretly, the card that was right right above it. See, so this is the nine of spades. And so you put the nine of spades that you know right on back of the on top of their card, which are the two of hearts, and then. You look through the deck like this. Don't think you're searching for it. Maybe you act like you're having a hard time finding it. You'd be like, where could it be? I don't see your card anywhere. I need to find it. And then you remember your card that you looked at earlier, the one that you looked at, which was the nine of spades. And their card that they chose was right on the bottom. So you look for your nine of spades, and then the next card next to it will be their card. So your key card that you look at, they say stop. This is their card right here, eight of diamonds. And the key card that you look at is the two of hearts, which, wow, that's, that's weird how that happened. But, so yeah, you remember two of hearts and their card is right here. You put it back on top and when you riffle through the deck like this, you look for your key card, which if you remember was the two of hearts and their card is right next to it the eight of diamonds and so you show them so there's a bunch of ways you can do this trick you can reveal in different ways but that's just the easiest way to do this card trick so yeah there you guys go okay so for the last trick we'll be using two coins or anything the same i just wanted to use legos because i do a lot of lego stuff on this channel so these are lego base plates you get with many figures that come in sets like like this but yeah you need two of these but your spectator or audience does not know that you have two so to them you only have one so before this trick starts you have to palm it's what you call you call a palm so you're gonna hide this in your hand like this so have it resting in like a natural position like you would like this barely even holding it you can just have your hands on the table like that so you're going to be palming your duplicate piece of, or coin, whatever you have. I'm just going to be palming it just like this. And 
uh, you're going to take the other piece, and this trick is pretty easy, but it's a good effect from like far away or for like for a younger audience. So you take your piece and make it look like it's going through your, uh, you're pushing it down into your skin, and that's just a trick in by itself. But little do you know, you have a piece under it, the exact same. So you can do this, and while you do that, you drop this piece out and make it look like it goes through your hand. So the way that you do this, it's pretty easy. It doesn't take any practice at all. Just make sure it looks good. Here's from a side of you. So your audience is right there. And it's going right behind your hand. So you palm your duplicate piece. And when you do this, you drop that. So get the timing right. You can do it in front of a mirror to practice until you're ready to do the trick. So yeah, that's a pretty easy trick to do on anyone. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. This was my first of the tutorial for magic, basically. Tell me if you want me to do more in the comments down below. You can also go check out my friend, Random Twigster. He used to do magic on his old channel, but maybe he'll do some more magic on his new one. But if he doesn't, you can still subscribe to him because he likes magic. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.